My name is Bramis, Chrome Developer Relations Engineer here at Google, and this is Unleash the Power of Scroll-Driven Animations. As the name implies, scroll-driven animations allow you to make an animation respond to scroll. But what if you want to animate things that are not an animation to scroll? For example, what if you want to rotate a 3D model? Could you use a scroll-driven animation for that? Well, you can. But you need a little bit of JavaScript to sync the animation progress from a scroll-driven animation to that other object. Let's take a look. On this page, I have a 3D model embedded using the model viewer element. It's a custom element to easily display interactive 3D models on the web and in AR. To learn more about this custom element, check out the link shown on screen. First, I create a scroll-driven animation that doesn't really do anything. Yes, the animation is there, but it has no visual effect. The animation is applied onto the model viewer element, tracking the root scroller in the block direction. At any point in the animation, I can read the progress value from the effects computed timing. The value is clamped between 0 and 1, taking the play state into account as well. If you're wondering why I'm reading the progress from the effect and not directly through animation.currenttime.value, here's why. The current time value is always measured relatively to the full range. For scroll timeline, that full range is from 0 to 100%, and for view timeline, that is the cover range. When attaching to a part of a range, such as shown in this recording, you need the effects progress, because that does take the applied animation range into account when returning a value. For this demo, the progress value is used to manipulate the model's rotation property. By continuously running that in a request animation frame, the model's rotation is synced to that progress. To make things easier, I created a little helper function that you can import. The past in callback gets looped in a request animation frame and receives the progress value whenever the value changes. And yes, using request animation frame can negatively impact your animation's performance. We at Chrome are looking into providing you with a more elegant API in the near future. Another demo is this one that has a video element. As the box crosses the scroll port, the video's playhead also gets adjusted. With the track progress utility function available, you'll need to be concerned with the contents of the callback which updates the current time value of that video element. Note that for this to work correctly, the video was paused up front and was also muted. And that's it for this video. I bet you can come up with a bunch of other cases where you want to synchronize an object of some sort to a scroll timeline attached to an element on the page. To read up on everything discussed here, check out the link that you see on screen. In the next video, I'll crank it up a notch and use scroll-driven animations to detect the active scroll speed and directionality of scroll. See you there!